yet nobody wanted them anyway. <laughs> he said, but I wrote it down in Apton and I took it home with me and I sang the picture. Now, 22 years later, Bear Bryant's sitting in his office. He's not very happy because he lost a very good offensive lineman to a school down there named Auburn. And they have a friendly scrimmage every time in the fall, just <laughs> a friendly game of football. And it really hurt him to lose that guy. And while he's sitting there, the phone rings, and it's, a, it's the lineman he lost. And he said, Coach, if I was to say I wanted to change my mind and come to Alabama, would you take me? And Bear said, I sure would, son, but I'm curious to know why have you changed your mind? He said, well, my grandpa told me I didn't come to play for you at Alabama. I'd never learned as much about life and football as I could. And he also said he'd never talk to me again the rest of my life. <laughs> you see, you ate my grandpa's restaurant 22 years ago. And he's got a picture of you up on the wall, and it's his pride and joy. And everybody that walks in that restaurant, whether they've been in there one time or a hundred times, immediately hears, see that picture over there? I was the first guy to ever feed the great Paul Bear Bryant <laughs> at the University of Alabama. And then Bear said this, he said, then I learned what my mama taught me was right. It don't cost nothing to be nice. It don't cost nothing to do the right thing. But it costs you everything when you lose your reputation for character by not keeping your word. And he said, I made sure my assistants knew how important that was and that my mama knew what she was talking about. And I looked it up. Bear Bryant's mama taught here at David Lipscomb for many years. If you're dumb enough to believe that, that's okay. <laughs> I've had uh, a lot of guys I've been friends with in the coaching profession, and Mike Krzyzewski is one of them. And I can remember when I was working, I've, I've had heart trouble, I've had a lot of things. He's always been a guy that's got in touch with me to see how I was doing. And I think it's really because he wants to break the record for most wins in college basketball. <laughs> but he's a great guy, and I think we're going to enjoy this video, and then we're going to hear one of the greatest talks that we've ever heard. Thank you.